when the world lost its mind, when common sense suddenly became an uncommon virtue, Florida was a refuge of sanity, a citadel of freedom for our fellow Americans and even for people around the world. The governor Ron DeSantis released a new political ad that many regard as a presidential campaign ad. The ad boasts about Governor DeSantis's leadership in Florida during the COVID-19 and repeatedly attacks President Biden for his failures over the past two years of his presidency. Ron DeSantis has decided to put his people first. Ron DeSantis taking a lot of heat over it, but he's not backing down. Florida's success has been made more difficult by the floundering federal establishment in Washington, D.C. An inflationary spending binge that has left our nation weaker and our citizens poor. It has enacted pandemic restrictions and mandates. It has recklessly facilitated open borders. It has imposed an energy policy that has crippled our nation's domestic production. This has caused many to be pessimistic about the country's future. Some even say that failure is inevitable. While the governor has continued to release ads like these to boost his national profile, he is still struggling to win support amongst Republican voters. A new poll from Fox News, conducted from February 19th to 22nd, showed Trump with a double-digit lead over his potential opponents, as reported by Fox News. Florida is proof positive that we the people are not destined for failure. DeSantis wins. He has made a promise and he's making good on the promise. Florida is leading the nation. We are the nation's fastest growing state. We rank number one in education freedom. We are number one in economic freedom. Florida also ranks number one in public higher education. This is a record we can all be proud of. Governor Ron DeSantis, Republican Florida, had 28% support, former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley and former Vice President Mike Pence both had 7% support, and Governor Greg Abbott and former Congresswoman Representative Liz Cheney had 2% support. A recent poll from California, however, may give a potential DeSantis campaign some hope. Amongst Republican voters in California, there are 5.2 million of them, DeSantis is leading the 45th president by 17 points, according to Politico. With polling showing overall that President Trump is enjoying a wide majority of support amongst Republican voters, it is possible that a potential matchup between the two leading Republicans could be a rehashing of 2016. During Trump's first presidential run, the leader of the America First movement carried 44.9% of the Republican primary vote while Senator Ted Cruz had 25.1% of the vote. It is possible that such a scenario could repeat given current polling, however, it will be up to the voters to decide who is worthy to lead the party forward into 2024. Decline is a choice. Success is attainable. And freedom is worth fighting for.